Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 4th of April 2020. A look back on week ending Saturday the 4th of April where I try not to mention COVID-19 and often fail. So what can you do? Anyway, let's have a look at last Sunday. Um, Sunday for me, not the Friday before. The last episode of Picard Series 1. It should have lasted about four hours. There were so many different parts of the plot in there, and there were lots of semi-cliffhangers um, saying uh, we'll be back for Series 2, which there will be a Series 2. Anyway, uh, my hair is out of control, which has got nothing to do with Picard, apart from the fact that I'm thinking, yeah, I might cut it all off. Who knows? Anyway, does anyone remember Flobies? where you attached your vacuum cleaner to some sort of hair cutting thing and as it cut it sucked your head off or something like that. Um, they're on Amazon in the States and they're really, really expensive. However, um, I don't really think that you can, um, well, if you go to a barber's or a hairdresser's or whatever, they never use them. I think there's something in that. Anyway, back to Picard. Um, I don't want to spoil it. It's worth seeing. Some of the CGI is like bargain basement. Um, and it's hokum. But I enjoyed it. And Androids are the way forward, maybe? I think they are. It's good, honest to goodness stuff. Um, but if you're Carl Madden, hello, Mr. Madden. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can't disagree with anything you say, but it, I wouldn't say cheered me up, but it was okay. Anyway, um, you know that I am slightly obsessed by the weather. I am. One of my favorite apps, the Dark Sky app. Um, I've got it on my iPhone. I've got it on my Pixel 3a. It is excellent, mostly speaking. Um, Hyperlocal weather. Apple bought it this week and immediately announced that um, they're closing down the Android version. I think it's the end of July. You can no longer get it in the Play Store. Um, they're closing down the website. They're closing down the API. Not very good, Apple. Not very good at all. Um, openness. Openness. The weather belongs to everybody. Um, and a lot of the information is sourced from the US National Weather Service. Perhaps you might want to think about everyone and not yourself. And that also goes out to the UK mobile phone companies. The RPI increases that are coming. A lot of people are going to be struggling. And uh, I'm with three. And they have been, well, it used to be excellent. Their network has been useless. Um, do you honestly think you're worth that increase? Because I don't think you are. Mm, anyway, um, okay, I didn't want to talk about work, and I can't really talk a lot about it, but um, Microsoft, you were mail merge. Thank you very much. Straightforward, works well, and even our printers worked well, and we really needed you this week. Um, software helping people. Um, thank you very much been asked about zoom the uh, video conferencing app a lot now really speaking it's a business app um, but lots of people including myself now have an account and there are all sorts of issues with it now if you just want to have a little party online a virtual pub or a chit chat or whatever generally speaking it's all right anything which is needs to be secure forget about it don't even think about it. Um, they announced this week for the next 90 days they will stop work on new features and try and fix some of the bugs. I'm not altogether well sure whether some of the bugs are bugs or features. I remember when the Mac version had a web server in it, which you couldn't uninstall. Anyway, um, two alternatives. Jitsi, J-I-T-S-I. -I. Um, WebRTC um, works in the Chrome browser, probably work in the Microsoft Edge Chrome browser. Uh, you don't need an account. It's open source. It's end-to-end -end encryption. Definitely a better bet. Um, has apps, Play Store, and the App Store. 
and found out today Skype. Skype just has a web page where you can have free video conferencing. Excellent. Uh, just search Skype. They have a free page. You don't need an account. You can just go. Also works through the apps as well. Anyway, um, moving on. Um, I'm a little bit semi hoarse today. Um, I ended up in work ringing some of our uh, colleagues at home who are self-isolating. I have to be honest. I'm not altogether sure it was the best thing to put me on the phone to people. I am slightly melancholy, although I was amazed at their positivity, and some of them really had some sad stories to tell. Um, you know who you are out there. I'm waving to you, and I'll probably be ringing you from Monday as well. There you go. Oh, and yesterday morning. Okay, so I have the shoe, my the shoes, my shoes at the bottom of my bed, and they get a little bit scuffed overnight. So I've got one of those bottles of liquid polish with one of those foam things on the end. So top comes off all over the bed. <laughs> Black stuff, horrible, soaked through to the duvet, uh, went everywhere. Anyway, um, I washed the duvet cover last night. I think some of it, or most of it, has come out, unless I'm looking at the wrong end of it. Um, I changed the bed. Um, put the duvet back in a different duvet cover. It still works. Ordered a new duvet from Amazon yesterday. It's supposed to come on Monday. It's out for delivery today. So, in the list of people to thank, obviously, the NHS. Um, I saw a postie this morning. Thank you, Posty. Um, had to take some mail up the sorting office for work on um, Wednesday. So thank you to all the people there who are still doing us well. Thank you to all the delivery drivers. Thank you to all the people that no one else thinks about. Those who are still in work, who are doing their service, who are getting on with it, and we don't know about. And Aldi. <laughs> um, mind you, Aldi. Uh, toilet paper. You can only get two sizes at the moment. Um, that's either half a shed load or the whole world load. Um, I only went in for a couple of rolls. Well, actually, I went in for baked beans. and didn't have any baked beans left, so I came away with compost and sausage and beans in cans. But it made me look like I was stocking up for the year, and I only had one um, bag of them. Maybe smaller ones um, so that we can look like we're not actually dumping on other people. So um, that has been my week. Um, thank you for watching. And please be safe out there. And I'm going to wave now with my wild hair. Bye-bye. Oh, and thank you.